Why is it that when someone says, you can talk about whatever you want next week, it makes it even harder to figure out what I want to talk about? So I wanted to start by saying, Kimmers, it was so nice to meet you on Friday. Kimmers and I had lunch at a place called Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Um, I actually got a smoothie that had been made with Splenda, and it tasted just like the regular strawberry smoothie. It just had like half the calories and zero sugar in it, so it was just as tasty. So I wish I could get to meet the rest of you guys at LeakyCon, but unfortunately I can't be there. Um, I was supposed to have a conference for work this week, and then it got canceled due to economic situation and whatever. So. Ashley, I want to say congratulations on losing more weight. That's awesome. Um, I still haven't lost anything else. I'm kind of up, back up to 200 again, which sucks. But um, I've been doing better this week, and I look like crap right now because I just came from a really awesome workout at the gym. Um, I've been running again, and that's what I decided to talk about this week was The Biggest Loser. Now, I like The Biggest Loser. But I have some problems with it sometimes. I'm kind of annoyed when someone loses five pounds in a week and they're like, oh, I failed. And I'm like, are you serious, dude? You've lost five pounds in a week. I know it's not your normal 10 or whatever pounds you lose in a week, but if you are saying you failed by losing four or five pounds in one week, what are the people at home that are trying to lose weight on our own supposed to think if we lose one pound in a week? Are we supposed to be like, oh, I failed? But then at the same time, we're being told that one to two pounds a week is a healthy weight loss. So my problem with The Biggest Loser is that these people are working out all day, every day. I mean, my thought on probably what their schedule is is like wake up, work out. Eat breakfast, work out. Take a nap, work out. Eat lunch, work out. Eat a snack, work out. Eat dinner, work out. Go to bed. They are provided with all the healthy foods that they need. They don't have to go grocery shopping for themselves. They don't have to pay for their own food. It's all provided for them. Yes, they have to cook their own food, but the only thing you have in your kitchen is healthy foods. How can you not lose weight? It's kind of unrealistic, but at the same time, it can be very motivating. Last week, if you didn't watch it, they had the final four contestants run a marathon. That's 23 miles, I believe. The oldest contestant is, I believe, in his 50s. He's lost over 100 pounds, but he still weighs over, or almost 300 pounds. He has a bad knee, a bad shoulder. He has diabetes, heart condition, and he finished a marathon. That's, that's amazing to me. And so after watching that, I kind of... It was funny because I filmed my blog last week saying, oh, I need motivation, I have no motivation, I've been doing so terrible, haven't been going to the gym when I need to and everything. And then I sat down and watched The Biggest Loser later that evening and was like, whoa, if they can finish a marathon, if Ron can finish a marathon, yes, it took him 13 hours, but if Ron can finish a marathon, I have no excuse. I mean, <laughs> so what did I do Thursday? I got my butt in the gym. I got my butt on that treadmill. I ran for the first time in like two months. I'm so excited that I can run again. I ran Thursday, Saturday, and then today. And yes, I'm just doing half mile intervals, or quarter mile intervals, but I'm running. And it feels great. But if you watch The Biggest Loser, just keep in mind that they are working <laughs> way more than a normal person could ever work out in a day. They have everything provided for them. So it is kind of unrealistic, but it does show you that if you put your mind to it and put the work in, you can lose the weight too. You can get healthy too. And it also shows you that if you really are determined, you can do anything. I mean, I, I still, I'm like, if Ron can finish a marathon, so can I. So now I have this goal for myself, which I've kind of had before, but I'm now even more determined. I want to run a marathon by the time I'm 30. I'm 25 right now. I'll turn 26 in August. But in the next five years, I want to run a marathon. Or 
Maybe not even run a marathon. I just want to finish a marathon. I don't care how long it takes me. I want to complete a marathon. So we'll see. Hopefully it'll happen. Um, I'll just have to keep working on it. Addie, I hope to see you tomorrow. I hope you're back. And Leah, I hope you come back on Monday. We miss you. Have a good time at LeakyCon. Um, I wish I could be there. And I'll see you next Tuesday.